So we're honored to have, I don't know, director, leader. We played the song Running on Empty because you have been nonstop. So we have Dan Schauber with us. And, you know, it looks like you're a little little calmer, but th what a tremendous event you put on. Awesome. I really appreciate it, guys. And we're really here, uh, you know, for the community. Everybody is welcome at this event, and, and nobody's excluded. So tell us, I mean, how w how long have you not, because obviously you've done this as the 20th annual, you've been doing it for years yourself. How much work, like when do you start preparing for the, like next year's race? As soon as the race is over, we're going to start uh, planning again for next year. Uh, next year, uh, the race is on March 23rd. So we're looking forward to uh, the, the planning process again starting tomorrow. Well, just know that Easy Sports Talk is a, is a partner with you, so we'll do everything to help you start promoting for next year as well. Give everybody, like, a, who, for those who can't join us here, obviously, Paint today, us a picture paint is what us they a say picture on radio. Of number of racers, you know, racers, runners, I should say, the type of race races going on, et cetera, and all the vendors. Sure. You know, Pride Run Phoenix uh, has uh, three events. We have a half marathon, which is 13.1. We have a, a 10K 6.2 uh, and a 5K 3.1. We really have the be arguably the best course in Arizona. It uses the uh, the main road, Central Avenue in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's uh, uptown, midtown, and downtown encompasses really the whole community, uh, the whole Central Phoenix uh, corridor. I talked to some of the racers that were finishing the, you know, when they were doing the half marathon. They love the style of the course. It, it, it's just amazing. They love the dry weather. It, it's just amazing. And they've been doing this for years, and they really know you. People know each other as they go by because they've been doing this for so long, and that's what we really liked about this. It, it, it really is community and the course, uh, and, the, and the people have a great time, and we hear it and we see it uh, on Facebook with – with all the great comments. So. Set the stage for the vendor area here. How do you put this all together and who's here? So, so at the end of, end of the race, we like to celebrate. We have a beer garden from one, our, one of our sponsors, uh, North Mountain Brewery. So uh, really a, a time to celebrate, get together, and, and hang out at the beer garden. But it is more than just a beer garden. We have uh, lots of vendors out here uh, coming out here to really uh, partner with the community and uh, uh, and, and share their. Uh, I, I heard a rumor that the uh, and this obviously it's early in the day, but I heard a rumor that the brewing company had to send out for some more kegs. Uh, uh, you know what? I, <laughs> I know I know for a fact that was last year. I have not been over to the, the brewing table to. Uh, yeah, Jim said that was the longest line <laughs> here. I think they did. I think they might have had to send out for some more. So, <laughs> the massage lady has the next longest line as soon yeah. as people get done. So we wanted to give her a shout out that she's. You know, licensed massage therapist fin finished the race. Listen, her number is 602-476-9516. So, Dan, you learn things every year. Is there something new that you did this year that maybe you won't do next year or some, an idea that came up that you're going to try to implement next year? There's always things that change. Yeah, I, I think uh, um, really is, is uh, to part, partner more with uh, the city of Phoenix. Uh, we have uh, gone out to uh, uh, many community events with them. And uh, uh, Vice Mayor Pastor is, is really jumped on board with us. So really now trying to connect. We've been doing it ourselves. Uh, uh, you know, the Phoenix Front Runners has been doing it themselves. But really it's, it's getting the community in. And we really love uh, uh, Vice Mayor Pastor coming out, really uh, joining us here at the event and, and wanting to help us make this a, even a bigger event for next year. Well, I noticed you also had a nice, it was a good police presence here. Paramedics obviously on hand in case anybody needs any assistance or anything like that. How do you how do you put uh, get those resources? Is that something you yeah, is go that directly? Donate at times, or is it or we uh, Phoenix Front Runners is a nonprofit organization, okay. so we definitely need major sponsors to help put this event on. Uh, we are always in need of uh, cash uh, sponsor and, and uh, donators, um, but we have a, uh, lots of in kind uh, sponsors because maybe they don't have the cash to uh, uh, you know help with the event, but they definitely uh, donate their product. So we had Gatorade come out and give us some. Uh, uh, product and I want to really give a big shout out to uh, to uh, Fry's Food. They they uh, donated all the water and all the uh, refreshments uh, for the runners. So some people are in kind, but we're always in need for uh, for cash donations. Well, we got a couple more minutes left, and at least a couple more minutes left in the segment. But let's get the information out there ahead of the end of the segment. Tell everybody how they can reach out and support. You know, moving forward. For next year and beyond. Yeah, uh, it's really easy to uh, get in touch with us. All you have to do is go out to uh, phxfr.org, and we have a contact us page, and, and really get involved in, in 
uh, you know, let's start the planning process early uh, for next year. And that's what it's all about. And one of the things I wanted to let you know, we'll be posting all that as well. You let us know what we need to get out there throughout the year. We'll get it out. Now, I asked you before we came on the segment, you know, obviously it's a whole lot of work putting an event like this together. And I've been watching you. You've been scrambling, you know, since early in the morning. And the stress is kind of come i can see it's like you're, you're lighting up your, your life. i was going to ask you tell everybody what the what your agenda is after you're done with this how do you get your uh, relax on well if everybody takes all the uh the liquids and the products i won't have to pack all that up okay. so my my cleanup process should not take that long today and then uh, actually my family came out to uh from florida so we're going to go out and have a have a margarita after we get this uh, any particular up. location you already got it picked out or uh you, you know, we really like, uh, you know, Fez. They, they pour yeah, some good drinks they, they uh, down do there. do a on, tremendous job down Central. there. Yes. Okay. Dan, we can't thank you enough for having us out here. We love to promote this. You know, our sports talk show, 10 to 12, we're really involved in the community and everything, and we, we're glad you invited us out. Couldn't ask for a better day, could yes, you? Yes, this, this is awesome weather. So Once again, give Thanks. everybody the website to. We, we, we want everybody to go out to uh, uh, www.phxfr.org. And let's start the planning process early. Thank appreciate you, man. We you appreciate guys. it, Dan. Thanks, Dan. He's go got, go he's have that margarita <laughs> yeah. and relax. I know you got a little to finish up. You got about an hour and a half before you're officially done. Yep. But get that margarita in. And like I said, we'll be in touch. And anything we can do to continue to support, man. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks, you. Dan. Thank you. So, yeah, tremendous event. You know, like you oh, said, yeah. the, you know, with the Mercury down here, they had Scorch down here. And 